My biggest thing was, you know, having a bounce back from Friday to Saturday. We saw that, you know, outside of the slow start, I thought, you know, we certainly played really well the last two periods. Um, now, again, it's, can we get that same effort to the start of the game here on Friday in our first period? And that's really our focus right now is to carry that over in Friday's first 20 minutes and go from there. Uh, we don't want to get too ahead of, our, ahead of ourselves here, but, you know, as long as our, our thought process is right and how we want to play and what we need to do, then, you know, it should parlay in a good, good experience here come Friday night. I think as long as we keep up our, our, our work uh, in the offensive zone, our, our pursuit of pucks and turning pucks over, we're going to generate offense. And, you know, it's just going to come down to getting some greasy goals here at times. Um, you know, it was encouraging to see our, our, just our chances from last game. You know, the, the Dubny line, you know, led the way, and that was great to see. Um, you know, and certainly we're going to need secondary guys, you know, TB and out and, and all that. But, you know, I think for right now, we're going to need everyone. And it, like I said, it's it, everyone's expected to play the same way. And, you know, we get, a, we get a goal from Gurney there just based off of hard work. We chip a puck in, we pursue it, we turn it over, and it's a goal. And those are the types of goals we're going to have to score here, you know, once we get going. And that's kind of going to have to be our MO is, is going to be pursuit and, and turn pucks over through hard work. I really liked our power for the first weekend. Um, you know, in Niagara, we we had some. You know, we had the long extended five on three, which we didn't do much with, and you know, from there it kind of trickled down. And then going into Saturday, you know, we had different personnel. You know, certainly with T being out, um, we had to adjust some things, and you know, a lot of it was familiarity and guys not really being used to playing with each other. And certainly had a tough time getting the zone in our first power play there. Then I thought after that, I thought we had some good looks. We had some good play in front of the net, a couple. Of on opportunities and just missed on a couple but you know for me again it, it comes back to a process and you know making sure we're, we're moving pucks quick we're supporting pucks and, and we're, we're being a threat to shoot so you know again until we get guys really set in their spots and where they're feeling comfortable we're still going to be a work in progress with them you know our chances against as far as five on five play has been pretty good um you know, a lot of the things we're giving up are, are you know, it's teaching related and things we're going to get better at. So, you know, for me, as long as we're continuing to get better in those areas, I, 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 that's growth for me. And, you know, those are the things we got to continue to push. But, you know, and it's really a buy-in. You know, as if guys understand we're good in our own end, it's going to lead to more opportunities on the offensive side. And that's got to be, you know, our big push here as far as getting these guys to really, really enjoy playing that defensive side of the game and, and really work into, you know, be good in our own end and allows us to get on the attack court.